Hello? Uh, hello. I'm trying to reach Risa, please. Risa d- This is she. Hi, Risa. My name is Byron. Byron d- from the job. How are you? I'm okay. How are you, Byron? I'm good. Listen, I hate to call you uh, after hours at your home, but there has been some uh, new issues that will be going into effect as of tomorrow morning. And we're calling everyone, letting them know the new changes that have been um, issued that will take effect first thing tomorrow morning. So we're giving everyone a call, so don't be alarmed. It's just uh, giving you a call, letting you know what the uh, what the higher-ups have changed, okay? Okay, that's no problem. i got a few minutes to listen. Okay. As of tomorrow, what's going to happen is when you guys come in, you'll be issued a new key card, and that particular card will actually uh, register when you come in and go out, okay? Okay. All right. Second one is there will no longer be any personal Internet at the job any longer. You won't be able. They're actually putting a block on all computers. All the computers will no longer be able to go to a lot of these sites that you guys go to that you've been, um, that's you've been that been available here in the past. Okay? Okay. All right. The last one is, uh, Risa, do you, um, do you wear a hair weave? What? Do you wear a hair weave or a wig? Yes. Okay, well, here's one thing, uh, and hopefully you can get this changed by tomorrow. There's no weaves or hair or, or wigs going to be allowed uh, at the job site from this point on. So as of tomorrow morning, everyone must be wearing their natural hair. You're joking. Uh, no, these are the uh, issues that are going to be, that are instated, and these are going to take effect as of tomorrow morning, 7 o'clock. What does hair weave to have to do with any of these changes? The first two I can understand, punching in. And being on the internet, yes, that's something that that corporate. But hair weave and wigs, uh, you're getting into uh, changing first people's the appearance. Up, and so are, are, they're looking down upon it. Uh, wigs and hair weaves, they have to go. So I'm assuming that if you, like you said, you do have one, I suggest I uh, it doesn't come out very easily. Start taking it down now and prepare your hair to be natural as you come into work tomorrow. I'm not taking my hair down. I've been here seven years, and I've dealt with all the changes that y'all have made, but there's no way that I'm taking my hair weave down. I'm sorry. What's your name, Byron? Uh, yes, my name is Byron. And um, I'm sorry. Let's get back to your weave. This has You're going to have to do something. Is there someone that you can call tonight to help you get your hair down and so you can look presentable with your natural hair tomorrow? No, my weave costs over two, $300, and I'm not about to take that down. I mean... It takes a long time to take that down. Okay. Uh, I mean, is this something maybe you can take it down and just wear it on the weekends? Because as of now, you're not going to be allowed to actually wear it uh, on the property. And how will you know if someone has a weave or not? Are you going to do head checks or something? This uh, some okay. I'm, uh, ma'am, I'm not quite sure what they're going to do to check it. But by you telling me that you you have a weave, then I have to write it down that you have confirm that you do and we got to make sure that tomorrow morning you're not wearing one but you don't know what my natural hair looks like from my weave are you heard how much i pay for it so it's a good weave ma'am it's not about how good you know with the quality of your weave or anything they don't want it they want natural hair i don't know what that means but they're going natural they're going green they're going natural i don't know what it is they're going natural and so are you tomorrow morning you need to come in with your hair completely down Okay. I won't do it. I'm not taking my weave down. Okay. Then, what then, is that? Y'all gonna write me up or something? Okay, ma'am. Do you not want your job? Yeah, I want my job, but this don't make no sense. You talking about personal appearance? I can understand y'all have a dress code and enforcing a dress code. That's one thing. But t- but telling somebody to change their <laughs> hair, you lost your mind, man. You're crazy. Ma'am, I'm not gonna. I have other people that I have to call. Bottom line is. Get your hair down and get your butt into work tomorrow, and let's not go back and forth anymore, okay? Well, listen, Byron, you're a lost <laughs> mind if you're thinking I'm taking my <laughs> weave out. I'm not taking <laughs> out at all. Risa is coming up in there <laughs> with her hair, and I'm going to sit down at my desk and do my <laughs> job. Y'all going to have to drag me out that <laughs> time some <laughs> weave. You are lost your mind, you and your powers that be or whoever they may be. You tell them that I said that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, listen, are you telling me that you're coming in regardless with your hair on? You d- right? That's what I just said. Okay, you calling okay. me at home are you, with are this you, are you, d- Then, then we need to, why don't you go ahead and bring some boxes in? Because you may as well I'm not pack bringing your stuff. I'm not You bring the Ma'am, I don't want to have to pack you, get your stuff and box it up, and you're losing your job because you can't take well, your 
You know what? Up. You can do that because I'm going to call the, the news station and tell them you're dragging me out of the behind some weeds. Who wrong? You wrong. You wrong. You stupid behind some weeds. You, know, you need to watch your language, young lady. Why I need to watch my language? I'm at home. You call me on my own home phone on my time. I'm at my house. I'm not on your clock. I say what I want to say on my phone. Okay. Can I say what I want on my phone and then I'll let you go and you can come in to, to work any way you want to tomorrow. What is it, Bob? And what else you got to say? I want to tell I'm you fed this. Up. I want to tell you that your girlfriend Jennifer at your job got me to prank phone call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. What the did you say? <laughs> No, you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Reese, this is this is nephew Tommy, baby, from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Jennifer, your coworker, got me to prank oh, phone call. You got my blood pressure up. I'm gonna kill that <laughs> tomorrow, and I'm gonna pull her weave out. You you want to come down there and watch me drag her out of the job? I'm mad. She wrong for this. <laughs> you know I got high blood pressure. You can't be doing that to me behind my weave. I pay too much money. I that's my money I could be spending on my kids. Oh, ain't nothing like a black woman and her hair. <laughs> oh man okay baby i got one more thing to ask you girl what is the baddest and i mean the baddest radio show in the land well after this prank <laughs> it has to be the steve harvey morning show god 